I think the barrel of the gun, um, I didn't want to panic because, as you know, on the highway, we have cars going 60, 70 miles an hour. I could have had a wreck. Tonight, incidents of road rage involving a gun on the rise in our area. A woman had the frame of mind to get all the information needed for police to make an arrest in a road rage incident. Good evening to you at 6 o'clock. I'm Mark Mullins. And I'm Amber Grigley in tonight for Nicole Griffin. That encounter happened on I-65 on Indy South Side Monday. Now, typically, it's tough for police to follow up on these cases to make an arrest. But the woman who spoke to WRTV's Adam Shooms managed to do everything police needed to move forward. And that woman tells me on Monday she was just in her car heading to run errands. Here, near I-65 North on Indy South Side. When court documents say a woman in a separate car pointed a gun at her. It was life threatening. Um, I have kids I want to see. She's still shaken up and doesn't want her face shown on camera. The driver who police say pointed a gun at her was arrested and charged with multiple felonies. She still fears for her safety. She told me the whole incident is still fresh in her mind. It's not safe. It's very dangerous. And we're losing our kids at a rapid rate talk to your kids. Court documents say on Monday afternoon, the woman called police after 24 year old Destiny Taylor zoomed around her car on I-65 near Southport Road. Documents say Taylor threw something out of the window trying to hit the woman's car. Documents also say the woman pretended to call police, hoping Taylor would stop. The woman told police that Taylor then pulled up next to her and pointed a pink gun at her and was laughing. Then she actually called 911. When I seen the barrel of the gun, um, I didn't want to panic because, as you know, on the highway, we have cars going 60, 70 miles an hour. I could have had a wreck, but my first instinct was to call the police and try to get behind her and not on the side of her. Court documents show photos of the car that the woman was able to provide to state police. Hours later, police were able to arrest Taylor. I just went into quick thinking and took pictures of the plates, as many as I could, before she got away. A WRTV investigation in May found that most of these incidents, arrests are rarely made because victims and witnesses are unable to provide enough information about the shooter or the vehicle involved. As we reported, investigators say any information can help them with these type of cases. The more information we can get, the better. It's things that may seem like insignificant could be very important to what we're trying to do as far as an investigation. That's exactly what happened here, but numbers show arrests are still hard to come by. 2022, for example, only six arrests were made out of the 66 reported cases of shootings on the interstate. As of late December, Indiana State Police says out of the nearly 300 incidents in 2023, they made seven arrests. Those are road rage type incidents, including shootings and someone pointing a gun. For this victim, she's just glad that her quick thinking was able to help police. I feel like this is one less person that needs to have a gun that's using it irresponsible with the crime rate being like it is um, us losing our young kids at that age. In Indianapolis, Adam Shumes, WRTV.